Okay, so the last video I did, I showed how to cut, or actually model, and extrude what looks like an angle on a 3D object. Now, obviously the next thing that you're going to ask is, well, how do I cut it? Okay, so I'm going to do this with a, um, just a, a simple flat bit, uh, eighth inch, real simple. Uh, you can, of course, get, you know, a little bit more uh, fancy. You can get a camfered 45 degree bit, uh, or you can use a even smaller one, doesn't matter. Uh, however you want to do it, you can. Uh, but the way we're going to do it here is just, this will just show you how to do this kind of cut, or how to do this kind of setup. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to do a new setup. The stock, fixed size, that's fine. Uh, round up to the nearest, I always zero that out. Okay, that means the width, we'll say we're going to cut this out of a 6 inch by 6 inch. The height is exactly 1 inch. So we're going to just be cutting out just the grooves then, right? So we got a 1 inch piece of wood, 6 by 6 by 1 inch. Okay, and then I want my start point to be down here. Left, right, forward, backwards, and of course the z-axis is the height, up, down. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do a 3D milling, and we're going to do a 3D adapt adaptive clear. Okay, so we'll select the tool, local, uh, one eighth inch flat. Okay, the speeds and feeds are fine. I don't care about them, um, but this case I'd probably do a f 50 inches per minute. Lead in, lead out is fine. Okay, machining boundary. So for the adaptive clear, we want to keep this to a silhouette, right? And for that silhouette don't want it to go beyond that silhouette actually yeah that should be fine uh, I think it is heights fine good okay so for geometry uh, we're gonna cut here 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 I'm just gonna kind of go in and select everything I want cut. doesn't matter if it goes over it. Um, it's just... as long as our our cutting surface that we're going to do is all selected. We're good there. We don't have to worry about rest machining. Come over here to passes. Okay, maximum roughing step down. Okay, so a 3D adaptive clear doesn't have, you know, multiple steps. How big do you want each step? Maximum roughing step down. I'm just going to go 0 0.05. That means the final step down is there. Du -du 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 -du. Stock to leave. I'm not going to leave any stock. I'm not going to worry about flays. I'm not going to worry about smoothing. Come over here to linking. And we're just going to plunge. Good, good, good. Oh, that's fine. Full retraction. We can, you can mess with this. This is not necessary to the cut. This is preference. Okay. So all that's good. So let's go ahead and hit OK on that. And it'll go ahead and build. And then you'll see it's starting to build on up each cut. Why didn't that take?
Uh, see, that bugs me. It's not grabbing there, it's not grabbing there, and not grabbing there. So we'll just select some more stuff. Let's just do one side here. Let's do that once and see what happens. Comes up that side. You would think you'd be able to do more than one piece at a time. Don't you? Well, let's just see something once here. Now, there's a very good chance I do not know what I'm doing in this case. I mean... I do use Fusion 360, but I rarely do cuts like this. I see. So let's go like this. Let's just go like that. There you go. Okay, I was overcomplicating and clicking way too many things. So avoid that when you do yours. <laughs> So anyways, here's this, <coughs> and we'll go ahead and delete this monstrosity here. Uh, then we'll do a new operation, 2D milling, 2D contour, because now that we have the shape all cut out, we need to cut out this part of it. So let's go ahead and we'll select this edge, outside cut, we're going to do tabs, and we're going to do inch and a quarter tabs uh, and we'll do every two inches that's fine you can select your own custom ones if you want to we will do multiple depths at 0.05 speed is at 50 so Now, I'm going to take out the lead-out, because the lead-out, what that does is, once it goes through here, it'll bounce up against the stock, and, you know, it'll exit that way. It's a horrible way to do any cutting, because it'll bounce and leave marks inside of here. Uh, if you take that out, the bit will just raise straight up and exit. Uh, ramp will go down 3 degrees every, almost, almost every inch. Da, 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 da. Hit OK. Boom. There's your cutout for the side. And then if you want to see what this is going to look like, we can go through and simulate. And then we'll come over here. We'll kind of speed that up a little bit. kind of see how it's coming up on an angle like that, which is exactly what you want. Goes back in there, does some refinements. Comes up on an angle again. Repeat, repeat, repeat.
And now we'll start cutting out the outside. And that'll finish up right there. But anyways, uh, that's how you mark those cuts. All right, good luck. Cheers.